Well, hello and welcome to the Intuitive Messenger channel. My name is Mitchell Osborne. You can find me at MitchellOsborne.com. But this is an unboxing of an amazing deck by Thomas of Hermit's Mirror. It is the Lifeline Lenoracle. So, um, you know what? Let's, let's dive in. So let me open up and talk about this. First, I want to say that this was the first deck I received, the Lifeline Tarot, Coloring Outside the Lines, an amazing tarot deck, gorgeous. I'm not going to talk about that. I'll have to do another video on that. But what I want to talk about, first of all, is the Lenoracle. So here is the guidebook, but as you're looking at that, it comes in this really gorgeous decorated, um, you know, slide open box. Even inside, it's gorgeous. Got a lot of um, just, it's just beautiful. The, the, the color palette is beautiful. Um, the quality is great. Little tuck box. As you can see, this is a tiny deck. It's, I, I guess it's probably more of a standard card size. You know, I don't know anything. I love opening it up and just discovering. Um, but some other cool things are the side of this. Oh, you can see that glimmering red side. It's just gorgeous. The guidebook is, is quite um, voluminous. So yes, there are, are um, definitions of cards in here, but there's quite a bit of, in the beginning, Let's see if you can see where this is. You know, it's a Leonard, Lenormand deck. It's an Oracle deck. It's a Lenoracle deck. So there are traditional playing cards, which is 52, is it? I think it is. Um, 52. But then there are other cards, extra jokers, um, just beautiful stuff. And you can see the using of the, you know, using of the deck as an Oracle deck, using as playing cards, using as a Lenormand deck. Um, just a wonderful, wonderful deck color guidebook very well done nice quality so let's dive on in oh this is the back of the cards again just beautiful as you can see there's the there's the side of them and you can see there's a, how it when you open it up i just love like when things do i don't know design like that so let's dive on in and see what these cards look like i will be honest with you I took a quick little peek and all of a sudden I'm like, I don't know what I don't know what some of these cards are. So I did go through the guidebook to make sure I didn't look too stupid <laughs> when I talked about what they because most of the Lenormand ones I knew, but there are extra ones in here as you're gonna see, like the spider, like chalk. You know, because there's only, typically 36 in Lenormand deck, and this has more. It has 52 plus. So here is just a and there's a lot of extra stuff, a lot of extra cards. So I'm just gonna kind of go through. There is the Ace of Hearts. I bet you I can put three of these here so that way you can keep an eye on them. So that's the Ace of Heart. There is a woman there. This is two of hearts. That is the shoe, a shoe. It's not necessarily the shoe because it's not linked back to Lenormand. Um, here is a violin at three of hearts. This may get a little messy. Four of hearts, that is bread. And, um, and you can see the bite taken out of it and the four cuts in the top. This is window, five of hearts. Stars, six of hearts. And if I get them wrong, Thomas, I'm sorry, correct me in the notes. Um, but I love it. Tree. And again, you can see this. It's still the playing cards, but then there's that, that single line drawing throughout, which is amazing. Moon. There's the rider from Lenormand. There's the dog from Lenormand. Um, this is heart. Um, I have to remember. This is queen of hearts, which is the stork there. I'm pretty sure it's stork and not swan. Um, this is king. Oh my gosh, I'm trying to remember what the king has in his hands. Um, this is the king of hearts. Forgive me, forgive me, Thomas. Um, I might have to look it up. So I'm gonna look up king of hearts. Ooh, it was the slipper, not shoe. <laughs> I got the window, I got the tree, uh, moon, rider, dog. Okay, let's see. Star Stork, that was Stork, I got that. House, oh my gosh, it's the house behind him. I was looking at what was in his arms. <laughs> so the house is what's behind him. Um, and then we're into the Ace of Spades. And then we've got Cat, which I love because there's not typically a cat in Lenormand. The Well, um, Fruit, Thread, we're back to Tower, which is tip, traditional in Lenormand. Um, let me see if I can adjust this. I'm getting too far out, too far out. There we go. I have some, I have some crystal, a crystal wand down here. I always keep it in there. Here is letter. 
Um, these are, I think those are the lilies. Anchor. Ship. And if you know Lenormand, like the Ten of Spades is connected back to the ship. Here is a child. And this is Bouquet. Okay, this is King of Spades. Let me see what the King of Spades is. I love discovering. So I'm pulling out the book. King of Spades, Lily. Okay, so that's Lily. I did get Bouquet, right? I got Child. Yes. So, <laughs> all right. And then we've got the Ace of Diamonds, which has the sun in it. This is Butterfly. I love that. That's a new one. Lamp. Um, four of Diamonds. Let me look that up because I, 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 I don't know if it's just necklace or like amulet. Locket. So a locket. Fan. This looks like, like a daffodil. Let me see what that is. Clover. Okay, so that's the clover. Birds. Key. Coffin. These are all traditional from Lenormand. There's book. Scythe tradition. And this is pathways or um, crossroads. And this is, I'm pretty sure this is fish. Let me look up King of Diamonds. So, ooh, oh yeah, we got scythe pathways or paths. It is fish. Yep, it is fish. I should have known that with being the king. And then, let's see, where am I? So this is um, Ace of Clubs and that is ring. Mirror on two of clubs. This is the chalk on three of clubs. I love the spider. Oh, that is so beautiful. Spider. Make sure you can see those. And there are, I forget if this is vase five. Let me see what five is. Wine. Woohoo, no wonder. No wonder I didn't know what it was. Cross. Because I don't drink. <laughs> I know what wine is. Uh, mice. I love the mice, how they're off to the side too. Mountain. Now, this reminded me of like the friend and the fool, but it is the fox. It's very much the fox. Reminded me of the dog and the fool, but it is the fox. Oh, I need to see what ten of clubs is. It looks like it looks like almost like a mountain lion or something. So let's see, mice, mountain, fox. Bear. Oh, it's the bear. And then this is Jack of Clubs, which is Whip. The Queen of Clubs, there's the snake curling around. The King of Clubs, um, and that's Clouds. I'm going to double check, but I'm pretty sure that's Clouds. Yes, that is Clouds. And then we have a bunch of Jokers. Bum, bum, bum. There's man in heart. There's woman in heart. Another woman in heart. Another woman in heart. And then I love that's Thomas there. I love Thomas's um, image drawn again with the single line. And then just a little bit more about kind of like the story. So once again, a gorgeous, gorgeous deck by Thomas. Um, love it. Thank you so much for this amazing deck that you created. Um, truly appreciate it. So check it out. I'll put um, all the links and stuff in the notes below. And I'm just trying to see if there's a quick one I can grab here um, where we can go and find Thomas. I don't see it quickly, but it'll definitely be in the notes. You can see it in the notes. Oh, I love the guidebook in reverse at the back here. <laughs> I love it, love it, love it. Beautiful, beautiful deck. All right, so thank you so much. Have an amazing day. Bye-bye.